The media is constantly lying to us. What is the problem with the media nowadays? Nowadays, you get more and better information on Twitter or TikTok than you do the mainstream news channels. Why? When I was in college, and I remember looking at a candidate called Andrew Yang, and I remember being so entertained and watching podcast after podcast about the policies, the people he was talking to. It was so interesting to learn about the different types of things he was talking about, like from automation to universal basic income, to basically what's happening in the future and what's going to happen in the future with our future government. But it made me realize that once he was on stage and kept getting votes and votes from the people, because again, that's what matters, the people, I noticed that they were shutting off his mic. I noticed that they weren't giving him the same respect as the other people just because he wasn't a senator. But hey, he had more votes and more people supporting him from the Democratic, Republican, and Independent parties than anyone else. He had people that wanted to vote for Trump and Bernie Sanders wanting to vote for him. Now that's power. That's someone who we should look into him. But I noticed that because he wasn't in the inside team, he wasn't getting the love that he deserved. And the more and more that kind of happened, I started becoming more disenfranchised with mainstream news. I kind of stopped watching it altogether because again, it wasn't accurately reporting the things that were happening around the world. And we see this all the time now where people will always talk to me and be like, hey, I actually learned this on TikTok or we tell each other, hey, I actually was reading this article at, but realistically we watched it on TikTok or we watched saw it on Twitter. But again, it's one of those things now where why are we getting better information from social media platforms than we are the mainstream news? And again, it goes back to the media suppression. There's agendas that are being pushed that aren't the ones that you want to see or aren't the ones that they want you to know about. So again, a big thing it made me realize is when you follow the money, you follow the money, you just see that, okay, well, why are all these conglomerates all owned by the same people? Why are the media stations like what five people own the hundreds and hundreds of media stations around America? How is that really fair? How is that really media? How is that really telling us the truth about whatever's going on? The problem is that we're all getting manipulated. We're all getting played. Because again, when people sit there and they watch this information, they're not thinking, hmm, is this true? Could this be a lie? And again, nowadays, we don't really fact check everything truly. We don't sit there and think, okay, why? You don't ask that question. Because again, what we receive, we just accept. But again, you have to have some sort of discussion without it having to be disrespectful or uh, disagreeing. But nowadays, what gets views, what gets clicks, that's really what's going viral on the news stations. Because they'd rather have two people just yelling at each other across the room than people actually having an intellectual conversation. Because no one wants to see that. It's too boring. It's not exciting enough. It's not reality TV show enough. And again, people always make these little jokes about like TV, tell a vision, right? So it's again, manipulative and all these things. And granted, it could be true. But for me personally, I think that with the modern media streams that we have, we can actually find the information, but it takes us to take the first step to require to find the truth about what's going on. When you wanna know the truth about what's happening around the world, where do you do to find it? Do you look at mainstream news channels? Do you go to TikTok? Where do you go? How do you fact check? What do you do besides being there yourself? Do you talk to people who are from there? How do you do it? And again, nowadays, it's just being suppressed. So why is the truth being suppressed? Things will get taken down on different platforms if they talk about, hmm, what's a good example? The Palestine situation, right? Where people's posts are getting shadow banned and everyone knows that, oh, I got shadow banned. Why? Because I'm talking about the truth or I'm talking about this or I'm talking about that. Even if you're not right, even if say, let's say for example, whatever the person that got shadow banned isn't saying the right thing. What is the point of them getting shadow banned? Is it to suppress just that ideology, that thinking, but then do we really have free speech? And again, it's all these little conversations that we tend to have and think, okay, so what's the point of suppressing everything? And nowadays it's hard to find the truth if everything's being suppressed, but no matter what, the truth always pierces through the light. Everything will always become clear by the end. Because again, at the end of the day, you can't hide the truth any longer. You can't keep it hidden in, for as long as possible. You just can't do that. Also, again, it comes back to that selective reporting. And everyone has seen the photo where the guy is basically stabbing the person in the back, but when you zoom out the photo, it's actually the opposite way around. So again, it's what the media decides to paint the picture of, right? So again, it's, oh, these people are thugs, criminals, et cetera, et cetera, but they don't look at the real reason why this happened. Or, oh, these people did this and this and this, but they're not reporting the opposite side. Why did someone do this and this and this? And this is the problem nowadays is that we're so reactive, right? We just see something, ah, get angry and go crazy. But again, the main problem here is you have to take a step back, like that picture that we were talking about, and think, what is really happening and why is it happening? And when you start asking yourself that question, you start to use the media and the medias around you as just simple tools where I'm learning as much as I can from different sources to understand, okay, what is the truth behind what's happening? Again, it is really hard when you notice how much censorship is going on. Because why is someone getting shadow banned on these different platforms? Why are we being censored? Do we really have freedom of speech? 
What's the problem here? And again, to incite violence in any regard is wrong. So people like that, should they get banned? Yeah, they probably should. People who are bullying, people doing the wrong things get banned and censored, sure. But when people are just trying to speak of an idea or an ideology or a way of thinking, but then they get shadow banned, it becomes one of those things where you wonder as to why. All in all, make sure you're an informed person. Make sure you're actually going out there and trying to learn things. Because if you're gonna sit there and not learn things, but only get your news from one place, that's a problem. You can't get your news from just one certain space. You have to listen to a bunch of different ideas, a bunch of different ideologies. Because again, you don't want to be in this bubble in life, even in your real life. Make sure you're talking to different types of people, people who are diverse. And if your area isn't as diverse, try to be the person who changes the status quo. Talk about some different things. Don't just talk about, again, the, oh, you see the game last night. But try to talk about, obviously it's a joke nowadays, but the state of the world. So you want to talk about different things. Ask questions, be curious. And again, curiosity is really what builds our knowledge and allows us to be less ignorant in the world. And again, that's something that I've always promoted to people and I'll always do. And again, for me personally, I always wanna learn as well. Because if you don't know, then you're ignorant to it. But you wanna know, you wanna learn. You wanna be in tune with what's going on around you. And when the more you are, the less you're gonna really look at the lies and the suppression and you're gonna be searching for the truth. Thank you guys again for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Be sure to like, subscribe, share this to all your friends. And again, leave things down below in the comments of different times where you kind of notice some media suppression and times in where you're like, yo, like I actually learned something from here, here, here. I would love to hear you guys' stories. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next week. See you later.